Hi garden friends. So today I'll be making a succulent pumpkin and I want to show you this awesome pumpkin I found at Ralph's and I couldn't leave it behind. It has a cute little stem and check it out from the bottom. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my god. Even though I'm not gonna see the bottom, it's still so pretty. But yes, um, I've got a ton of cuttings here and I know I'm not gonna use them all, but I did want to um, prepare a lot of them. Um, I haven't made a succulent pumpkin since last year, so I am a little nervous. And as you can see, I've got some moss. I have a glue gun. And like I said, a ton of cuttings I have. They're all pretty much um, really small. This is a Graptoveria opalina. I have Echeveria morning beauty. Um, Echeveria lime and chili. I have string of pearls here. This is a Echeveria lithicia, super pretty. I have tom thumbs. I have hens and chicks cobwebs. I've got Atlantis too, Atlantis right here. These are Aeonium pinwheels. Not sure if you can see that. Very pretty. I love the red margins. These are, um, ah, I'm forgetting the proper name, but I know they're AKA, they're Vix plants. They smell delicious, like mint. I love them. I've got an Olivia. I have Graptocetum vera Higgins, Graptopetalum, Paraguayense. I've got a cluster of, um, I'm not sure if they're Ioniums. I think they're, oh no. Turkish hens and chicks? Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. But those are beautiful. I have a bunch of Portulacaria afras, Ionium lily pads. I've got a few fake um, little acorns here, or they're little like pine cones, I should say. They're like mini ones. Not sure if I'll use them. I've got an Echeveria um, brignoni. I think it's a holy gate. I have a tiny Echeveria pulidonis, a Graptoveria bashful, one of my favorites. I only have this one. I even have a small Echeveria Cassie's winner. Um, I have a bunch of little missies. And yeah, that's about it. <laughs> so, oh, and this one here, this is a Chrysula perforata variegata. I think it's a string of buttons. I'm not really sure. But what I really want to get down to is gluing this moss first. And that's the first step to this. So I went ahead and got myself a big chunk of moss. Just like that. And I stretched it out a bit. And you'll see what I do. I'm going to find a little hole there. And I'm going to place it right on top just like that so you can hardly see the pumpkin and I'm gonna slowly and just glue it down and then cut it it's not gonna look this wild <laughs> I'm not that crazy so I'm gonna start doing that now that I fitted the moss on top of that like a little hat I'm gonna grab my glue gun make sure it's nice and hot and it is I just burned myself okay don't do that and I'm just gonna simply put the glue down on the pumpkin and lay the moss down. Just glue it down and I'm gonna rotate it. And you can also use tacky glue for this type of project. The reason why I'm using the hot glue gun is because it'll, it'll dry a lot faster. And it won't hurt the pumpkin. I mean, the pumpkin has such tough skin that it won't even feel it. I'm not hurting the pumpkin. And I'll also use the glue for the succulents. And same thing, it'll work. They'll um, stick on to that moss and eventually 
they will grow their own roots and attach themselves to it. And I've already run out of glue, so I'm gonna get another stick here. Okay, and I'm gonna keep on going. Okay. All right, and that's pretty much done there. Okay. So as you can see, it's stuck on there. And now what I'm gonna do with my little snippers here, I'm gonna kinda cut it. I'm gonna cut it down. I'm gonna kinda keep it round like that. And what I'm doing here is creating a bed for the succulents, basically. And I will probably cut more once I have all the succulents on there. It is pumpkin mania, it is official. They're all over the place. They're being sold everywhere. That's what I meant to say. I wish I can grow some pumpkins and get them for my own little garden, but no, I'm not there yet. That's a whole different level of gardening. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my little scraps here, put them to the side there. And look, it's like a cute little hat on it. It looks like little hair. It's so cute. Okay. And I want the stem to be this way. So I'm going to work, going to work with it like this. Okay. And here we go. Oh my gosh. Where do I start? <laughs> okay. So I think I'll put a cute little acorn right there to start off. That'll be my starting point. And what I do is just put it, and I'll do the same with the succulents. I'll do it right at the base like that. And stick it right on there. And it'll stick so fast, so fast. With tacky glue, you kind of have to wait a little, blow on it. Yeah, I don't have that type of time. Okay, now I'm gonna go with this little cobweb, and I'm going to start with my bigger ones. And start in the center, okay? So, I'm gonna make, put the glue right at the base. Right at the base. And this one has a few roots. And I'm gonna get that moss to stick to it. The only bad thing about the um, glue gun is that it gets stringy. You have to get those strings out of the way. Okay, just like that. And I know you're gonna see that they're kinda hanging on, but when like in a month's time, cause the pumpkin will last, I'm not even kidding, like three months, like for the whole season. And in a month's time, I it'll start attaching itself and I'll show you how to water it as well on my stories. So I'm gonna keep on trucking here. I'm gonna go for this bashful right there. So I'm gonna balance out colors. That's why I have so many. Cause I didn't want to like, not have enough okay just like that perfect and I'm gonna add a little a smaller one right there and I think I'll go with a <laughs> you see so many to choose from it's kind of like ooh that'll look cute okay little Vix plant hopefully you can see how I'm gluing them, how I'm putting on the glue on the succulents. Okay, not bad, not bad. It's cute, so I'm gonna like rotate it as I go. And right here, let's see, I should put, maybe I should put that one over there. And I'll put, I want, I want it to, have these string of pearls here and I cut a little bit off where there's still some root there 
and you know you can kind of tuck these in and you know what my mistake was not putting this one in first yeah that was my mistake okay that'll go nicely there so this fixed plant is falling apart which is a good thing because I'm gonna add this string of pearls and I'll show you how I do it I'm just gonna put the glue right on the stem there just like that and put it where I want it to go just like that kind of hold it a little and it'll stick on to it yay so I've got a string of pearls there And I'll put a second one right on top, right there. And I'll get this little stem there, put some glue on it, just like that. And place the stem right on the moss there. So not on the string of pearl, but on the moss. Okay, so I've got, I've got some texture going too. You want something to trail over it looks so pretty at the end right now it looks like a hot mess okay so I'm gonna keep on going keep on tricking here and should I still put that one there yeah maybe I should but I will cut this one a little shorter that stem was a little too long there and I'm gonna put some more glue right there so it's going to be a little flatter it's not going to be like sticking out there we go okay so i've got this little bunch that i don't want to leave behind and i think it will look very cute beside that bashful there and i don't want to tear it apart and i already did as i said that wow that okay so i'm gonna put some glue here Keep all those babies together, but put enough glue where it's gonna actually attach itself. And put it down like that. Okay. Gonna kinda press it down. Okay, so that worked out. That'll be cute, okay. Moving on. And I think I'm gonna stick with the reds and the greens. I'm not sure if I'm gonna add pinks. And I'll add, yeah, the lime and chili right there. Press it down. And there I go. I'm gonna keep on going. I'm gonna put a little, no, 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 no. That there. I have this little space right here and I will put that pink one would look cute yeah or this pinwheel no that one's too big you see when it's too big when they're too big and you put them like towards the the rim there I don't know they kind of poke out funny I like them to be snug maybe like that okay because I want to balance out the reds so should I do this one or this one or should I do like one. No, no, no. I'll stick with that Vera Higgins. And I'll pluck some of these stems off. And I'll tuck it in right there. When I first got into making these, I didn't think that the glue, I thought the glue would damage them completely. I was amazed 
how well they did and how they actually grew on the pumpkin how they attached themselves to the moss it was mind-blowing mind-blowing so I'm gonna keep on going Oof, got a little and I'm going to I kind of I see this little hole there and I've got this cute little cluster of little couple of tump them here and I think I'm just gonna stick it right in there and I'm gonna take these two these this petal here right off just so I can get a longer stem okay and I'm gonna put that glue on there and I want them to kind of face this way and tuck them in just like that just so I won't see that hole there because that was that 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 was gonna bug me cool that's why it's important to get a lot of different types of succulents a lot of textures makes it more interesting okay so I'm gonna put a smaller one here maybe I should tuck that one in or let's see let's see let's see what should I do what should I do this is a paler one that I can stick in there and I also want to make that rim even right around hmm 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 I think that lime and chili was the wrong choice to put up there, honestly. But I'll stick with that pinwheel. I'm regretting that lime and chili, but... And I can always just pluck it off, but... I want to keep this video going. Okay, all right all is well I'm gonna stick this one right there just to fill that little space up it looks a little awkward okay I'm gonna pop that one right in just like that keep on going keep on going Should I put that pink one there? Maybe I should. There's another one right there. Ooh, that, that looks really pretty. Okay, I'll do that Lannis right there. Since it's a lot wider, it's gonna take a lot more space. There we go. Okay. Okay, okay. I wanna put this one here. I don't wanna forget about this one. So I'm gonna put that one right there. Oh, this is a lot of fun, even though I'm talking a lot. I'm a little nervous. I'm still having a lot of fun making this. Okay, just under that stem right there. I'm gonna press it down a bit. Okay, perfect. Okay, so, so far so good. So far so good, okay, all right. Now I still have so many succulents, but I know I'm not gonna fit them all. So, gotta get over that. I'm gonna do more strings of pearls. Let's see, I'm gonna do this one. This one's super long. 
And let's see, I'll tuck it in right there, just like that, okay? And then I want to partner it up with another one. And then I'll put this one right just like that. Okay, that's what I'll do. So the front can have a string of pearls and so can the back, because this is considered the back at this point. So, I'm gonna grab this stem and I'm going to trim these roots a little, just so they can be a little more manageable. Grab that, that stem there. Put some glue and place it right under here. Just press it down. There we go, that caught. Caught on well, right there. And it's important to keep your moss nice and dry before making them, because if you do, I've done the mistake of, of soaking the moss before and <laughs> the glue doesn't stick. It just gets it, it makes the glue cold and it won't stick anymore. All right, and that one right beside it, just like that. Perfect, I'm gonna get those strings out of the way though. The glue string, there we go. What should I put here? Should I put that one? No, 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 no. could put this one just like that but that's just a lot of green I'm missing that red I think I'm going to put the Olivia right there even though it's kind of sticking out can I make it smaller because it's already small but I don't want it to stick out like that. But I guess it's gonna have to stick out like that. Okay. All right, I'm committing. I'm doing the Olivia. And I want it to face this way and boom, okay. Press it down a bit. There we go. That caught on. Okay. Moving on. Moving on. Okay. I think I'm going to put a VIX plant right there. I'm going to cut it a little shorter. Just like that. Okay, I like that. Whew. Oh my God, okay, I'm almost there, I'm almost there. Okay, so, got all this space to fill out. Okay, what am I going to do? Forget it. Forget about the smell. I kind of want one, this little one to be up here, though. That would look cute. Yeah, I'm going to stick that one right there just to fill that hole. You know, me and my holes, you know, I don't like them. fast it dries and just sticks to it okay I'm gonna do another pink right here so I'm gonna turn it around and this is the front and I'm gonna stick this morning beauty here because it's just so pretty so I did put some pinks in there Press it in. OK. 
Okay, that's gonna stick, yeah. Grab my little string right there, get it out of the way. And I wanna add this last string of pearls, maybe right there. Let's see, right there? Yeah, so it'd be one, two, three. That would be cute. Okay, string of pearls. So I grab my little stem here, put some glue on it. And just tuck it in wherever I want it to lay. Oof. Got a little burn there, it's okay. I'm a tough girl. There we go. Okay. And I'm gonna stick one of these cobweb hens and chicks going to show you what I'm doing here since I can see the stem with all the glue there. Oh, I'm going to just put that right there. Tuck it right in. Hide the ugly, right? Mm-hmm. Alright. Stick right on there. Okay. Now, 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 I should put this. Yeah, I should just put this one right there. Why not? I'm running out of options here, believe it or not. <laughs> I'm gonna make this stem just a tiny bit shorter. Take that one off right there. This is gonna be by far the longest video. Oh my God. If you're still watching, I hope you're enjoying the process as much as I am. Okay. There we go. I got my lily pad in there. Whoops. Don't tug at it too hard, too fast. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm going to add Pochilacaria, maybe. I'm gonna stick that fixed plant in there. That's why I leave some stems longer. So if there is a hole that it that will be a little harder to cover, a taller plant will fix that. And I'm gonna squeeze that in there just like that. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm going to keep on moving. Keep on going here. Okay. Now I've got this space right here. So I can put one there. I can put one there. And I need like a filler there. So I can put... Let's see. A short one. I can put... Porchilacaria, a little afro right there. That would look cute. Would this one look better? Yep, I like this one. Okay, okay. Moving on here. Gotta start making dinner, so I gotta get it going. I wish I could stay outside all day. Okay, just like that. And now for which one? So I've got a, I've got some decisions to make. Oh man, I don't like doing that. I, I think that Barry Higgins would look nice there. So it would opposite the reds right there. So I'll do that. And get this little leaf out of the way running out of glue. I'm going to have to stick another stick on there. Ouch. Okay. I'm going to nestle it right there. Okay. Oh man. I'm, get, I'm getting through. I'm powering through. I'm going to show you just how it looks. Turn it around here. From the side here. Not bad. Not bad at all. I mean, gosh. Because I'm a little rusty. It's been a whole year. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Moving on. Moving on. Should I put... I'm going to need to put something right there. Okay. All right. I'll put that pinwheel right in there. Perfect. Keep on going here. I need one right there and I need it to be the right size. That one. So I've got this one. I've got a Puladonis. Right there. What else? So I've still got these. This one, I've got this one these maybe maybe that one no but it's not a rosette ay 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 should it be the Cassie's winner okay Cassie's winner it is you fit in there girl okay I'm gonna cut that just a little shorter uh oh I need another I need another I need another <laughs> glue stick Put that in there. All right. Okay. Let's see, I want it to face this way. Ouch. Keep getting burned. But that's inevitable. Inevitable. Okay, press it down right there. Perfect. Okay. Oh, I think I'm done. I think I'm done. And you know what? I think this turned out to be the back and this turned out to be the front. Yeah, I think that's what's gonna happen, y'all. So I'm gonna put something right here. I'm gonna go for another Portula Cup. No, 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 no. So there's another one right there. Should it be this little one that I didn't use? Like, boom. See, but I don't like it to be. Ooh, I'm too picky. Gosh. Should it be the cool it on this? No. I think I'm gonna stick with one of these, but I'm gonna have to take these leaves off. And cut this down and just kind of tuck it tuck it like this no so even flatter so I'm gonna take it all the way down okay that's that's what I'll do oh come on little stick work with me work with me this is a cheapo glue gun there's some really gnarly ones I'm not even kidding. I think this glue gun was like three bucks at Michael's. I think the glue sticks are more expensive than the gun, <laughs> but I might be remembering that wrong. Maybe it was five bucks. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I think I've put enough, but I see a hole there. So I'll do a Pucha Lacaria. So now I'm gonna fill in, I'm gonna go around and fill in the holes that I don't like. So yeah, I'll put a Pucha Lacaria on there. Cause now I'm basically done with all the bigger ones. And now whatever little odd hole I see, I'm going to try and fill it up with something. So I'm going to turn it around, turn it around. No, no holes there. I don't see anything there. No. Okay. I am basically done. I think I am. And I'm going to trim all of this moss down. I'm not going to let it be like 
sticking out like that. So that's the next step. So I'm gonna put all of these cuttings to one side. I didn't use any little missy, what a shame. down giving it a little haircut I'm not gonna cut those string of pearls though that would be bad gotta watch myself okay okay because I don't want the moss to get to like I don't want your eyes or my eyes I should say to go straight to the moss I want my eyes to go straight to the succulents and if the moss is like too much it just overwhelms it that's what I think I mean some some designers don't even show the moss at all they just make a little bed on the top and cover it completely with succulents I like to show a little moss because it makes it look a little more natural I think I think and I'm gonna be careful with the string of pearls it would be a shame if I just cut straight through the string of pearls after all that work oh gosh I can see myself doing that too <laughs> yeah I'm pretty clumsy like that oh shoot don't want to be out of the, out of the angle there out of the the frame I should say not angle And you'll see what I'm talking about when I show it to you from the side. Oh my gosh, it's going on 37 minutes. No way. That is insane. Definitely my longest video to date. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I'm gonna take this out of the way. See, I didn't cut that much off, but it makes a big difference. Okay, so now you see what I'm, what I'm talking about. So now it's not hanging out, but I'm gonna dust it off actually. not all hanging all wild it looks more like a little bit and I like to show some so it can look a little more natural but check that out guys check it out from the side oh isn't that just lovely you see it didn't take that long <laughs> this is a great project to do with your girlfriends you know or anyone you know your boyfriends too girlfriends boyfriends children children would love to make these they can pick out their own little cute cuttings and just do everything I, I think this is a great project for children to do with their parents or friends whoever it is people that love them oh I really like it guys and on my stories I'll show you how I water it and I'm basically gonna water it and even though I I would wait at least a week for my um, succulents to settle down and just get used to you know their new home I do want to water it just so I can show you but I basically just use a spray bottle and drench it all down but I don't think it'll hurt it. I'll take a risk. But yeah, thank you for watching, guys. Until the next project or next arrangement.